On November 21, 2024, the Belarusian Ministry of Defense announced the arrival of another batch of Tor M2E surface to air missile systems, delivered from Russia via rail. These systems have been upgraded by Russian engineers based on operational experiences gained during recent military operations, particularly those involving Ukraine. Modifications have focused on improving the system's ability to counter smaller aerial threats, such as drones. The new battery is expected to be deployed soon to provide enhanced air defense coverage for the Belarusian capital Minsk. Major General Andrei Lukianovich, commander of the Air Force and Air Defense Forces of Belarus, emphasized that the systems were modified with a focus on countering a wider range of aerial threats, especially smaller aircraft, following their performance in recent conflicts. Colonel Andrei Severinchik, chief of the Anti-Aircraft Missile Troops Directorate, highlighted the Tor M2 YES key features, rapid reaction times, high mobility, and the capability to engage a variety of airborne targets. This delivery exemplifies the ongoing military technical cooperation between Belarus and Russia, further solidifying their unified regional air defense system. This acquisition is part of a broader defense cooperation initiative between the two countries, which also includes joint training and military exercises. Russian forces have previously trained Belarusian personnel in the operation of the Iskander-M short-range ballistic missile system, a platform capable of carrying tactical nuclear payloads. Belarus continues to align itself closely with Russia on regional security issues, including its role in the Collective Security Treaty Organization, CSDO, a defense alliance comprising several former Soviet republics. Since 2010, Belarus has gradually expanded its inventory of TOR missile systems, with the latest deliveries bringing its total number of TOR M2E units to 21 by 2023. These systems are equipped with 169 M338K missiles, which are more precise, have a longer engagement range, and are lighter and smaller compared to previous missile versions. The advanced missiles are designed to operate in challenging electronic warfare environments and are particularly effective against large-scale aerial attacks. The Tor M2E systems integrate seamlessly into Belarus's multi-layered air defense network, which also includes long-range S-400 and Buk systems, as well as older short-range systems like OSA and Strela. Belarus's Air Force and Air Defense Forces, which consist of about 10,700 personnel, are organized to operate in close coordination with Russian forces. This collaborative defense strategy is formalized in the military doctrine of the Union State, a bilateral agreement between the two countries revised in 2021. The Tor M2E is designed to provide rapid short-range air defense for high-value targets. It can engage up to 16 targets simultaneously, from any direction, including high-speed objects traveling at up to 730 meters per second. The system operates effectively at ranges of up to 12 kilometers and altitudes of up to 10 kilometers, under all weather conditions and at any time of day. Its key advantages are high mobility, quick reaction times, and automated combat operations, making it a vital component of Belarus's air defense infrastructure. This latest delivery of Tor M2E systems significantly boosts Belarus's ability to defend critical installations, including the capital, Minsk, and supports the country's broader defense goals. Belarus's defense industry continues to focus on manufacturing military vehicles, guided weapons, and electronic warfare systems, though it remains reliant on Russian technology for more advanced air defense solutions like the Tor M2E. These systems are expected to play a crucial role in countering modern air threats and strengthening Belarus's territorial security.